Alrighty, boy. Back at home. I mean, I've been at home since I've been recording. Since I've been recording. But, you know. Okay. And this is the last of the Abbott and Costello movies that actually start with the words Abbott and Costello. So, I'm going to be taking a break from them for a while, despite there's still a good, like, 20-something movies in this big box set I got. But I'm going to be reviewing those more as they come up, because watching this match in a short time, they do get kind of samey. Alright. But we have the 1955 Abbott and Costello Meet the Mummy. Which means I will have reviewed everything on uh, discs th then the this disc section here. So, yeah. Okay. So, interestingly, uh, Abbott and Costello in this film are actually just going by their regular names. Usually they have some very simple names. Even just Slim and Tubbs. Uh, Slim and Tubby, but... Usually they have a character name. But no, this time they are actually just going by their regular names. So, they're stranded in Cairo and they're just looking for work, so they overhear about this, guy, this uh, doctor who's discovered a mummy, and he's got a medallion that, uh, he's looking for some porters. Well, they want to get in on this action to get a piece of the pie so they can fund their way back home, but when they go there, they, well, he's already been murdered, and because some, and the mummy has... Oh, actually, no, at this point, the mummy is still there, but the mummy moves around a lot. So, the f he's been murdered, and, well, they're essentially being framed for murder. So, well, more of they accidentally frame themselves for murder, based on a few pictures, or more of a... Uh, Abbott gets uh, framed, but anyway, I'm um, getting ahead of myself. However, they encounter a woman who's... They find the medallion, but they encounter a woman who's desperate to get it, and there's also a learned scholar who's actually uh, part of this cult that uh, protects the treasure of the Princess Ara alongside the mummy, Claris. Now, Cla no one's, now they all don't seem surprised that the mummy's moving around, so it seems like the followers of Claris are on board with the fact that Clara still gets around. Which, could you have chosen a less Egyptian-sounding name than Claris? I guess. Uh, so. That is essentially, uh, kind of a... Everyone's against everyone, as she's just wants to get, uh, use Evan Costello to get the medallion. While the doctor, er, is... Then the doctor slash cult leader is trying to just kill them all, lure them away so they can be dealt with. And now Godzilla just trying to stay alive. And the mummy, and it kind of just goes from there, of uh, everyone chasing everyone around. At one point, uh, they, the sides that don't know about the mummy, each one, they uh, dress someone up as a mummy to try to, uh, to scare off the others. So you have three mummies running around. This one's fine. It's not one of their greatest, but it isn't as bad as, like, Jekyll and Hyde was for me. I think it's like five MacGuffins. It's it's okay. It's got its high points, particularly when the you got the we are playing three mummy Monty, but otherwise there's not a lot going on here. That could just be because I've watched a lot of Abbott Costello in the last couple months, so I think a break is in order. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got on this one. It's kind of a short one. Alright, boy. See you soon.